Hey folks, welcome to Road Hard Restorations. My name is Steve, We're working in my home garage, and on this episode I'm going to show you how I put my 1970 Plymouth Duster on the rotisserie. Steve here. I'm here uh, to show you how to set up a rotisserie. Let's get started. Okay, coming up to the front of the car, I didn't have to make any special brackets for the front. I was able to just utilize the existing arms off of the rotisserie. I just had to drill a second hole here um, for uh, the bumper mounting bracket. You do want to make sure that you clean off any of the undercoating or rust or anything that's behind it because when you blast it, Obviously, they're not going to be able to hit that part, but you also want it, mainly want it to lay flush against the uh, arm. You don't want any rocks or chunks in there binding it up. So you want the car to be centered. So what I did is I just kind of simply measured from here out on both sides to make sure that they're even, or you can equally measure from here to the center, same thing. So that'll get you the car centered on the rotisserie. If you have a popular car, you can buy brackets that are made to fit your vehicle. Like I just showed you in the front, I can just use the arms right off the rotisserie and they bolt right up. On the back, however, I needed to do something else. So I, I didn't even look to see if they had brackets for a duster, but I'm not going to spend the money on it when I have some stock uh, just sitting, uh, sitting around from another project. So what I did, this is actually two and a half inch square tube and uh, it's a pretty thick wall. And um, I just actually took one piece and cut it on opposite corners to make two L brackets and then I just simply bolted them to the rear bumper bracket mounting locations using the grade 8 hardware. Um, just drilled a hole in it, slide this in, and then uh, run the bolt through to retain it to the beam there. And again, just like the front, you want to make sure that you measure um, to, for center. Make sure it's centered. Um, one thing that might not be a bad idea is I just put a bubble level on there, make sure everything's level and square and straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get welding these brackets on there. Um, these are just sitting on there right now, but they're in place where I want them. And uh, so I'll just kind of put a couple of tacks on there on both sides, um, on both arms, and then uh, um, I'll take them off and then weld them up solid. I just put a few couple small tacks on there. It's hard to see what I'm doing in there, so I'm gonna put it out on the bench where I can actually, uh, or out on the floor where I can actually see what I'm doing. Get this welded up. One of the components of the rotisserie is the center beam here. It uh, locks the two ends together so they don't want to bow out or, or move on you too much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shorten it up, slip it in on this side. Once they get the other side bolted up after the uh, brackets are just bolted cool off, um, then I'll be able to assemble everything, double check all my bolts, make sure everything's tight, and then uh, I'll start raising it up. All right, I'm back from lunch. Parts are cooled down. Let's get this thing bolted up. I like to make sure that everything is nice and free before I tighten all the bolts. Make sure everything's binding up. Everything like it's gonna cinch up just fine. Let's 
get those bolts tightened up. Okay, so now that I got the brackets bolted up to the car, um, those are all tight. I'm just gonna double check, make sure this is centered, and uh, then start going around the whole rotisserie, tightening up each one of these bolts, as well as uh, completing installing the, uh, the center bar uh, that connect the two together. Okay, so I have both ends bolted up. I'm gonna go around, make sure everything's tight, um, and then start raising it. Make sure these uh, pivots right here are at the same plane. If you don't have one here and one here, if they're even, they'll turn nice and even. If they're uneven, they'll, they'll bind up. The car is wanting to twist to two different locations. This is a low rest here where it's sitting now. Um, and then uh, I'll move it up to the first one, um, see if I have enough clearance, probably do some measuring. If I doubt I may have to use one of these higher ones. We will see, never had it on this particular unit before. So this is on the third hole. I need to get this one onto that third hole as well. Okay, so got an issue. It is, the weight is on the rotisserie. Everything is leaning this way. So it's causing this to bind, and it doesn't want to go down. I release the pressure on the jack. I also, this bolt is loose, so this should be dropping. The jack is loose, so this should be dropping, but because everything's bind, it, all the weight's out here, it's binding and everything up. So I gotta figure out how I am to release it from binding without it slamming down on these jack strands. Didn't think I'd have a problem getting it lower. I wonder if it would have been wise to, to grease this all up. Okay, the duster is now fully supported on the rotisserie. Let's see if it'll rotate. Again, so the only thing we're for raising and lowering the centerpiece. Okay, so that is definitely bottom heavy, which means we're going to need to raise this up to the next hole, I believe. Put some lubrication in here. And should be able to hopefully jack that up using this threaded rod here. So this is just about as nerve wracking as compressing a coil spring. Lubrication is key. This is extra tight and I'm fighting that bind. As soon as I sprayed it and it, the lubricant got in between, and it really easy to lift it up. Okay, I raise the center of gravity. Let's see what happens. Well, it doesn't want to automatically swing back. That's good. Looks like it's going to work. Just need to uh, raise it up to the appropriate height. balanced doesn't feel like it wants to spin around or anything you know let's leave it like that for right now 
And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to share, like, and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, hope you find it helpful. And uh, next week we will be getting into uh, restoring hardware. Rusty, crusty bolts uh, back to new condition. And uh, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.